My name is Dr. Yish Lankadeva, and I currently work at the Florian Institute on Neuroscience and Mental Health. Did you know that every year, over 20,000 Australians undergo major cardiac surgical procedures to improve their heart health? Taking a brief history of time, the development of heart surgery using the heart-lung machine was one of the biggest medical breakthroughs of the 20th century because this allows cardiothoracic surgeons to operate on motionless and bloodless fields while the patient's cardiovascular system and brain is sustained by the heart-lung machine. However, there is major risk associated with this surgery. For instance, it can injure the kidney in up to 30% of the patients, leading to the development of post-operative acute kidney injury. The development of post-operative active kidney injury not just improve, increases your chance of dying in the hospital in the short term, but in the long term, it can increase your chance of developing chronic kidney disease that can substantially diminish a patient's quality of life. Therefore, new effective treatments are urgently needed. This is where my research comes in with the help of the Heart Foundation Future Leader Fellowship. Over the last three years, we have generated compelling data that there is substantially reduced oxygen delivery to the kidneys during heart surgery that can injure this organ, leading to the development of kidney dysfunction. However, it's currently not possible to directly measure kidney health in patients undergoing surgery. So to counteract this, we have developed a non-invasive clinical biomarker that allows us to continuously monitor kidney health in patients undergoing heart surgery. I'm very excited to say that our discovery has already translated to several promising clinical trials at Austin Health, Monash Health, and Royal Melbourne Hospital. Now that we have this technology, our focus has, is now to develop new treatments to prevent kidney injuries from arising from heart surgery. It was actually with the help of a Heart Foundation Early Career Fellowship in 2016 that I was able to initially repurpose an already existing clinical drug to reduce kidney dysfunction in another life-threatening illness called sepsis. Using this extensive knowledge that I have generated over the last four to five years, we have been able to now repurpose this drug to the setting of heart surgery in an attempt to prevent kidney injuries from taking place. We have exciting new evidence that this drug may not only protect the kidneys, but it may also protect the brain during heart surgery. Now, with the help of a Heart Foundation Vanguard grant in the 2020, my vision is to develop a new interventional strategy so Australians can feel safe in the future to undergo these essential surgeries, not just to improve their heart health, but come out of these surgeries preserving their brain and kidney health as well. I'd like to sincerely thank the National Heart Foundation for continuing to support cardiovascular researchers such as myself, so we can continue to strive forward towards improving the heart health and quality of life of all Australians. Thank you.